Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Atrizzy here and we are back with another Talon gameplay commentary. Guys, I do apologize for the lack of videos on my YouTube. I actually been streaming most days of the week. It's just that I haven't really been able to formulate or think of videos that you guys might see. So please let me know in the comment section below what type of videos you guys want to see. Um, I do want to have a mixture of long form content such as this and then also do like more stream highlights just showing you guys like my climb and whatnot. Okay, let me, I might as well just reset and just get an Oracle lens and just clear that. But yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see in terms of specific videos. But I think for now, I think I might just post daily of my stream highlights and then also occasional gameplay commentaries like about new builds, different setups, me playing in, in Diamond Elo, trying to get to Master Tate, etc, etc. So yeah, with that being said though, guys, we are up against Jarvin, Malzahar, Jin, Zyra and Aurelia. Um, typically in this situation, Edge and I is going to be very strong here. Um, I don't think we need to get Serpent's Fang. I think that'll be kind of unnecessary. So that should be fine. And then in terms of our main build, one thing that I've been doing with my Conqueror setup, which you guys can see on the bottom left corner, is the Hubris setup. So Hubris, Ionian, and then also either Hydra or Black Cleaver give you a lot of ability haste and a lot of damage. And it's something that actually allows you to scale pretty well because with Hubris, the more kills you're getting, the more powerful you're just going to be throughout the game. And it's really, really nice to have. The thing with Ghostbait is that it does make sense like in the grand scheme of things in a perfect world ghost play does make the most sense but when it comes to solo queue guys a lot of people tend to feed it in and sometimes you have to just put your carry pants on and that's what i really like about hubris like the extra 80 that you get you're just able to consistently snowball really hard bro and then yeah guys for my rune page conqueror triumph legend of haste and then cut down cut down got buffed and it's really really strong now and then for your secondary runes you want to take magical footwear for the economy and then also cosmic insight for your smite and ignite I smile and alter this. Okay, Mazda has uh, Doran's ring, not not flipping um, Mana Crystal. I've seen some Mazda players go Mana Crystal to cheese a lost chapter. That was super weird. Was Jarvin here or something? Oh no. Oh, Jarvin's bot. This guy, if he respects and doesn't die, he should be fine. Okay, Jarvan's kind of wasting a lot of time here, which means we can actually counter gank here. Oh, please don't go in. Okay, he actually went in. It's fine. Is he still trying to do something here? Mm. Yeah, he's going to have to reset. I actually have huge amounts of tempo right now because Jarvin tried to cheese a bot lane gank. He didn't even get anything out of it other than a couple summoners and one kill out of Nami. Don't think that's actually really worth, to be honest. This is why I've been preferring to do full clears rather than do ganks like that because if it's not guaranteed, then it's just not it, bro. Like, if they were, like, low HP, then it makes sense. But he tried to cheese, like, a full HP gank. Like, that's not going to really work out. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice, got it. Let's go. Elite. I was so afraid that Zyra was going to dodge my second W there. Wait, he wants me to push. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Trinum is top with Jarvin. Yeah, they're just not having a good game, especially Jarvin. He's getting really unlucky here. His Raptor Camp should be up, to be honest. It should be, right? Like, he started bot side. Yes, it's up, it's up, it's up. These days, I don't know, I've been kind of, I feel like I've been making a mistake going Oracle Lens earlier. Because I feel like I can just get a couple wards out throughout the game. Oh my god, that Nami though. Okay, I should be able to do these golems here. Oh my god, there's a ward. No, never mind, it's a plant, it's a plant. And Jarvin dies as well, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna reset now. I don't need to fight this, bro. Because I've got 1600 gold. I might as well go and reset, bro. 
Oh my god, he tried to he tried to stop my recall, the Jarvin. I mean the Jin. <laughs> Alright, nice. Uh we'll see what top lane's saying. Okay, he's gonna probably reset. Oh, Malta are super low. I could look for something here. Oh, he's got level six now, the Jinamir. Usually I mute all because I don't like to get affected by pings, but kind of forgot to turn it off. I got damage. Nice. That was a bit risky, I'm not gonna lie. I think I can only do one of this, you know. I can't lie. I have no way to jump. Nice, level six. Perfect. Nope, I'm too low, bro. I'm not remaking that risky player. Trainer mid should be fine. He's level 6 with full HP. I'd rather just do this right now and then have a nice reset for Quarfield's Warhammer. But this will show you guys exactly why ganking heavy like that, like Jarvin, what he's been doing is really bad, bro. You want to efficiently farm and then take ganks, bro. Trying to flip games like that is just never going to be consistent for you, bro. Like, it will work. Don't worry. Like, it can work. But it's, like, it's not guaranteed, bro. What I've done this game where I've been prioritizing farm and then going for kills afterwards is more of a guaranteed. Because at least that way, you still have tempo because you've cleared your camps and you won't get counter jungled. Oh, I can go mid here. Oh, my God. This guy trying to steal my camps. He's so behind. All right, we'll see. I'll do Skull Crab here. Might still look for a mid lane gank here. I gotta run here. No, I dodged it. I dodged the root. That's so unfortunate. I think I should have kept fighting. Even if I get silenced, I think I still would have killed the, the Jarvan there. It's fine though. Zyra actually got the shot down. I'll take that. 100% I'll take that. I kind of overstayed my walk and I should have just ran away. Okay, what to do in this situation? Might just take my red buff and Raptor camp. Oh, I can go straight mid actually. Okay, he flashed. Oh wow, unfortunate. He does have level six, right? Yeah. Oh, Trinity, you need to run, bro. Is he still going for it? Nami's there. Nami's there. Nice. His blues, blue buffs up. I'll just take that. I really hate when these guys ping me like this, man. It's actually cringe. I have Ignite in 20 seconds. Nice. That's his camp's gone. He's two levels behind, bro. Okay, then I can go bot side.
I could gank top here. I do have ulti and ignite. Let's make a play. After I clear these Krugs. Mm, he's going to make a player. Okay, he's stunned. It's fine. He's going to go for this then. Like, Jarvan should never theoretically be able to gank me or invade me. After this, I'm going to reset to get Hubris. Okay, this should be all six. Nice, let's go. I, I can do Raptor Camp here as well. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might go Hubris into Hydra actually, and then maybe Black Cleaver. But then again, I don't really need it. But right now, the new patch hasn't hit. So the Sealda Grudge buff hasn't come into patch yet. So I might still do Black Cleaver. And at least that way, I'll get some extra health. I got my Hubris, got my Onion, another Control Ward. Perfect. Like right now, I've got like almost ACS per minute, which is nice. Unfortunate. I'm just going to see if I can just try and take every objective with this lead right now. Just going to take Dragon here. Still got my control ward from in the Dragon Pit. Like, there's nothing to do right now. I've got Nami and Swain, so it should be fine. And Malza doesn't have ulti. After this, I'm going to do Dragon, and then we're going to look to make a player. I know it's been a little bit boring, guys, but I'm just trying to make sure that I'm out-tempering the Jarvan. Just do Dragon right now. Okay, Nami's with Zyra here. He's got to run. Oh, Jarvan's here. Uh, he has vision. I wanted to jump over, but then he would have seen me anyway. Take this Raptor camp. I can go bot lane now. Oh, you flash. It's fine. Just run away. Just run away. He might ult us. He might ult us. Oh, what is going on with Silas, man? He's having a bad day, bro. Okay, that's no flash on Jim. Okay, I got two jungle camps to take and then it gets upgraded. Uh, Actually, do I want timer or do I want Brutalizer? I probably want Brutalizer. Oh, really, man? Why did they overstay that, though? That makes no sense, man. Your turret has been destroyed. Yeah, this might be a very difficult game now. Okay, I'm level 10. Jarvan's still here. Could potentially do Rift Herald here. Place a control of there. Now we can do Rift Herald. We need to actually start getting some kills here. I really want to get my Hubris stacked up. Okay, that's Rift Herald. Might reset here for Brutalizer now.
Let's Should have probably got another control ward, but it's fine. I feel like this is going to be a very hard game. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get a Janai after this. Uh, Hydra here. And because we have Hubris, if we get any sort of extra AD, that will also affect the, the bonus AD ratio. Mm, had to run away. I guess it was warded. It's fine. The thing is, I just know I can't die. If I die, I'm going to just lose a lot of XP and tempo because I'll be dead. I won't be able to take any farms. Jarvan is probably still my camps. Okay, nice. Level 11. That's a huge power spike. I'm going to go towards bot side and just get that turret. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, I can probably just take that. Nice, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go take Grump here. Nice, let's go. Let's go, just trying to open up the map a little bit more here. Okay, Dragon's up in a minute. My camps are up on top side, so I'm going to go take that. Oh, we do have an Oracle Lens here. But I don't want to walk up. Zyra's there. Alright, where's my Hydra? Hydra. Only 900 gold for this. The thing is, Trinim is actually really ahead. So I feel like we can potentially play with him. And we have a bit of a win condition with the split push. Okay, nice. It's gonna do skull crab. What is he doing over there? Should be dead. Nice. Because she cast her E, it just it means that. Oh wait. Nice. Another hubris stack. That's 21. Perfect. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, so with the Zyra, I was trying to juke the E. That's why I kind of went like around. But then um, at the same time, when she used her E, it's a cast time. So I was able to get my W off there. Like max range, basically. Now we get this dragon. We're really huge. Perfect. I mean, I'm also on the negative arena. You guys can see, like, Malzahar is saying that. But look at my win. I'm 5 and 9, bro. But, like, I've been playing really well. I've just been getting really unlucky with some of the losses, bro. That's why my, my KDA is still pretty good as well. So, like, I've been into my arse off all, all those games. All right, perfect, bro. 1 in 5, 91 CS Jarvan, and I'm 172 for 1 and 2. Okay, got my Profian Hydra upgraded. Another Control Ward. I'm telling you guys, Vision Control is so important in this game, bro. It's so important, man. Okay, so Baron's up in 50. Oracle Lens, maybe? Is there something here? No. I'm going to put my Hydra on number 3, since I'm used to that more. Someone's got to come here. Is either Jarvin? Oh, I placed my control ward. I pressed number one. <laughs> All right. All right, nice. Jin's dead. Perfect. Okay, I tanked it. Perfect. Oh, wait. I really might be here. Yeah, I really might be able to uh, stun me. Trinum is already pushing. I'm just going to take these two camps. Try and be a little bit more efficient here. Perfect, let's go. Alright, nice. CS-wise, we're doing really well. 9.1. Well, 
We're having a very good game, guys. But this is all of the mistake of Jarvan just consistently ganking without farming his camps, bro. Really, really dumb to do, bro. I kind of want to say that, like, I know I got a negative win rate, but it's unfair. All right, nice. To be honest, kind of unfair. I've had bad players to lol. All right, cool. Um, like I said, we're going to go straight for our edge of night here. Got my control wall, got a serrated Dirk. I'm very, very strong. This is why I keep telling you guys, Hubris, right now, it's just a better setup in my opinion. Three hundred and sixty-six damage on the execute on Hydra. That twenty-five extra AD off of Hubris is coming into play as well. What the hell's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna come. I mean, I guess there's the bad, bad reason why Ghost paid. Nice. All right, that's Baron. Uh, I got, <laughs> I got closed off there, unfortunately. Yeah, they should probably just have FF at this point. Like, me and Trinima are just so ahead. Nice. Okay, we can take his blue as well. I'm going to place a controller there just so I have a bit of vision before he tries to jump. Dragon's up in one minute. Like, he's got a full level, or I got a full level lead over him. Do all these camps here, reset, and then do dragon. This Mazaha guy, I feel it for him because he's just typing, but, bro, this happens, bro. If you guys saw my last few games that I've been playing recently, like, even I'm not, like, saying all of this stuff in the chat, bro. Bot lane dying on mid for no reason, pushing with no tower with them, with champs with zero mobility against Talon jungle. How can I play with players like this? Yeah, I'm going to start muting pings again, bro. It's actually just aids. Okay, I got my edge on night now. Control ward. I also feel like I've been improving as well with my mechanics and then also my game knowledge. I've been really trying my best to learn how to track junglers, like in terms of like their farm, where they started, how they're pathing in general. Okay, I'm going to place a control here preemptively. Then now we can kind of start playing with our bot lane here. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna do dragon now. They should FF really and truly. Got 338 AD right now. Could probably get two Hydra procs here before it goes um, off cooldown. Now it's half HP, so the execute should work. Nice, perfect. Let's gonna do these camps here. I'm five level lead ahead. This is crazy, man. I don't know why they wouldn't FF here. Your team has an Your team has 464 gold a minute. Oh, by the way, guys, I did get the U.GG app on my computer. That's how I can see all of this stuff, like right here. Like it's, uh, I guess the runway is kind of blocking it. So I'll put it here so you guys can see. Alright, uh, time to do Skull Crab. Okay, Jarvan's coming here. Okay, I'm level 17. I'm the highest level lead right now, bro. It's actually crazy. Alright, cool. Um, like I said before now, so we could just go for Black Cleaver. Yeah, we'll go for Black Cleaver. I wanted Edge of Night just because I feel like with Zyra CC, Jarvan, Mamazaha, all that kind of stuff, it'd just be better in the long run. Hmm, okay. Only fools pledge life to honor. Shut down. 
Take out these wards here. Nice. Double kill. I didn't even realize Zyra was that low to begin with. Okay, these guys are going to push. I think we end the game here, actually. Yeah, I think Malzah has given up. All right, 25 minutes, guys. 217 farm. Doing pretty good here. Yeah, actually a solid game, bro. Okay, GG's, bro. Yeah, guys, 8-1-5, 278 CS. I think we've had a very solid game. But if you guys have any sorts of questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. But my name's Atrizzy. Have a wonderful day, natural, and I'm out. Peace. Yo, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give a like and subscribe. Make sure to follow my Instagram at Atrizzy. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, natural, and I'm out. Peace.